there's one city that most people outside of the electric car industry that guys I know you guys love electric cars and you know a lot about them. Many of you are ex- exceptionally intelligent. You, you educate me regularly. But the truth is 99% of the world, they've never heard of this city, even though it has more technology than any state in California, maybe even more than California itself. In this one city in China, there are twice as many electric car fast chargers as there are gas stations. In fact, 70% of vehicles sold in this city are fully electric. 73% at last count. Now, what's so amazing about all this, right, is that some of these fast chargers can charge your electric car in 10 minutes. And I mean, they really can. I've seen it. They charge at 600 kilowatt fast charging speeds. That makes the charging speed of a Tesla look like it's an ancient dinosaur. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. And you know what? I, um, I've actually just bought a Chinese EV. It's, uh, it's called the Xpeng or the Xpeng G6. It charges in around 19 minutes from 10 to 80%. So it's very, very fast. In fact, it's the fastest charging electric car you can currently buy in Europe. And when I say the fastest charging, it doesn't have the fastest peak charging rate. I believe the Porsche Taycan has a higher peak charging rate, but the fastest charging overall. So from 10 to 80%, it charges the fastest along with the Xpeng G9. So Chinese EVs, are the, well, the technology in them is pretty staggeringly good, especially for the price. I mean, if you look at that car, it costs around $30,000 in China. And in fact, there's other cars that cost around that price that can charge at now a peak charging rate of 600 kilowatt. And like I said, this is not mythical. I saw it in person when I was in China. Now, interestingly, this city in China of Shenzhen, it is actually the headquarters of BYD and many other Chinese car brands. In fact, Shenzhen is like the Silicon Valley of China, even though most people have never heard of it. It has a population of 17.5 million in 2020, maybe 18 million today, and it's located in Southeast China. It's a modern metropolis that links Hong Kong to China's mainland, and it's known for its shopping destinations, including its Luhu commercial city, a massive, massive mall that is so big you get lost in it, which has a vast array of different shops from tailors, custom clothing to faux designer bags, as in fake ones and real ones as well. The city has, well, conventional, but also some very contemporary buildings, such as the 600 meter tall skyscraper, Ping An International Finance Center, and a number of amusement parks. But more important than all of that, I think, is the technology there. Shenzhen is a city of entrepreneurs. It's home to some of the world's most modern, technologically advanced buildings and to some of the world's most technologically advanced vehicle, battery, and technology companies. Now, what is kind of rad right there, right, is that EV sales have taken over so fast. In fact, this is the second fastest place in the world. Norway, of course, is number one because EV sales have hit 94% in Norway as of last month. But Shenzhen has hit, like I said, 73%. And I mean, honestly, would you want to buy a gas car when you can charge your EV at home? You can charge your EV anywhere. There's twice as many fast charging EV points as there are gas pumps. And 80%, apparently, according to CNF Post, 80% of all car sales now are either plug-in hybrids or EVs. So in total, the city has 550 DC fast charging stations, but That's just stations. At each of those stations, they have multiple charging points. So they have thousands of DC fast chargers. And while there, if you installed a fast charger that could only charge at 200 kilowatt speeds, they'd probably think you were like maybe Joker or you just didn't know electric cars because there, the charging points they're installing now are all well over 250 kilowatt. The minimum charging speeds appear to be 350 kilowatt. There is 298 gas stations in Shenzhen. As you can see, they are becoming a, well, I guess you could say an endangered species. 
eventually there won't be any. So a lot of people are saying, uh, if I buy a gas car, would I have to drive outside of the city to fill up my gas vehicle or my petrol vehicle? Shenzhen has become the first city in China to see the number of supercharging stations actually outnumber gas stations. And it kind of makes sense. The city aims to have 1,000 DC supercharging stations by the end of this year. That's according, according to a local government report. And Shenzhen, the city itself, spends billions of dollars attracting some of the largest technology companies in the world to come to the city. They'll often give away, give huge amounts of money, whether that's tax incentives or even give away land to companies who want to innovate. Shenzhen is one of the most policy-friendly cities for EVs and has one of the highest penetration rates for EVs as well in the world. In June, EV penetration among car sales in Shenzhen actually reached a record 77% meaning that 77 out of 100 newly registered cars in the city were EVs. In the first half of 2024, a total of 110,000 EVs were registered in the city with a penetration rate on average of 72.6%. Now, intriguingly, there's actually also a lot of battery swapping stations. The number of battery swapping stations has grown sharply with other companies, not just NEO. So NEO obviously have their EVs that you can swap the battery in. You drive into the battery swapping station and a machine actually removes the battery from your car while you're in it and then replaces that battery. And it all happens within two to three minutes. But other companies are joining in with this now. Even CATL or Cadle, the world's largest battery company, and SAIC, they are now manufacturing EVs for battery swapping. NEO itself though has 56 battery swapping stations in Shenzhen. And it's one of the most popular cities in China for NEO sales, which would kind of make sense considering NEO is actually headquartered in the city. NEO incredibly only has 150 of these battery swapping stations in Beijing. So it has significantly more in Shenzhen, even though there's a much larger population in Beijing. Kind of proves the point. If you manufacture these charging stations, often you'll sell more EVs in that location. People will see the infrastructure and they'll say, well, I wanna buy this new product. This sounds great. Let me know your thoughts about this, but it's, isn't it intriguing that this incredible city of Shenzhen is barely known outside of technology circles or outside of China, and yet it's one of the most advanced technology hubs anywhere in the world.